today we're going to bring an HDMI extender and this one works with category 5 or category 6. Now this one could go up to 390 feet of distance, all right, using your actual existing network connections, all right. This one can work at Cat 5 or Cat 6, like I said, 395. We're going to take a look at it and see what you can get. What you guys get is actually a USB extender. This is a USB to in case you want to control the system or power the system too. Uh, they give you a power station, all right. This is a power AC adapter, another power AC adapter, and then they give you the optional, all right. So if you have built-in power underneath your desk and you can mount these under, you could actually connect them directly to here and mount it in front of them, all right. There's a couple connections you can mount in the back here and in front of this one, all right. So besides that, they do give you IR connections on both ends. So if you have a remote control that you want to be able to remote control another TV from another distance. You can do that with the same thing, right? So there's an IR connection here, IR connection here, both uh, both on the receiver and the sender. So we're going to take a look at it and see how it works. They include the instructions. And this is very simple. Anything you want to connect, like your PlayStation, your uh, your systems, or anything you want to transmit and receive to the other end, you will connect to here, to the sender, right? So you would have to connect it here. If it's a computer and there's audio involved, if it's a computer, if you connect HDMI, you don't have to worry about the audio. You, know, you could transfer it through the actual HDMI. If it's something that requires uh, audio or say you're playing some music or some videos or something and you don't have um, HDMI and you have other sources, you're going to need to connect these two, right? So there's an audio in and the mic out, right? Both of them go in here and HDMI. This is the actual one that's going to send the signal over to the display, right? Now, on the other end, this is where you're going to connect your monitor. Your Cat5 will go here, your RJ45. It's going to go in the back, if you guys can see, our RJ45. IR here, uh, power, uh, additional power AC, which is included. And then, on the front of it, you got USB. So, if you have to remote into the system, you can do that. And that's why on this end, they give you the USB. So, you can remote. You can use keyboard, mouse from one end, and remote into the system through RJ45, right? So we're going to actually demo that too. Uh, HDMI is included, like I said, and pretty much that's pretty much what you get. So let's go ahead and test it out. All right, we're going to test out PlayStation 5 over using the actually extender and the sender. So we're going to test it out. And if you guys notice, I do have a PlayStation 5 display here. And I got my PlayStation controller right here. And I'm able to control it because I'm sitting in the same room. But... I, unfortunately, this only does IR. This is Bluetooth, so it's not going to be possible to transmit uh, 395 feet. But this is only to display. We're displaying an, an, a 4K system over the wire, all right? So this is how it works. PlayStation 5 comes in through here. Ethernet cable sends a signal over to the actual receiver. The receiver sends the cable, which is the cable here, and this is power. But this is just to um, review through here, right? This is to view the system itself through Ethernet, right? RJ45 connection, that's about it. Audio comes out on one end because it's using HDMI, so it's audio included with it. Right? So we're able to control, because I'm in the same room, I'm using PlayStation, so I'm able to control the system through here, and I'm able to play any game remotely. Uh, unfortunately, like I said, it's a Bluetooth, so Bluetooth cannot transmit through the IR. It's only good if you're going to, say, put a direct TV on one end or cable box or anything like that. You can do that and have it in multiple rooms in different rooms and use the same control for every single room. You can do that. So there's an extender for everything. This only does one, but there's extenders for multiple systems. Up, And this is pretty much the system on PlayStation 5 using the actual extender and the sender. The sender and the extender, right? Very simple, like I said. It does require power, so both of them require power on both ends. And, and of course, your Category 5, you're going to have to do the cabling, all right? And this, like I said, 395, close to 400, you know, it, it's a long distance, really good capability in case you have a conference room that you need to address this. And like I said, if you have a conference room that's in one room, and you got to send your signal to another room. This is a great way to do it. 
All right, today we're gonna bring the computer setup now. So I end up connecting my HDMI to my computer. If you guys can see computer, HDMI, and then a USB, all right? The USB that was included, right? Now this USB, you're able to transmit a lot of things through it, all right, with USB. And they give you four port USBs, all right? This is not gonna be a 3.0, it's a 2.0A version, all right? So we're gonna go ahead and put this on. We're gonna put in a mouse. If you guys can see, I have a mouse here. I'm gonna take this off. Take the USB off, turn it back, turn it on, completely on. Make sure it's on first. And then what you want to do is plug in the USB into the system. It's going to kick in automatically, and you're going to be able to see it here. There's the mouse right there. There you guys can see it. I'm going to re enable control here. See, click, right click. And no delays. I don't see any delays. I can even surf the internet and do anything I want, open my files. Of course, my files are going to be in my third screen, so I'm going to have to drag my files over here. Let me see if I can drag it over here. All right, this could act like my fourth screen. If you guys can see, let me see my mouse. So this could act like my fourth, fifth screen. Uh, I could set it up if I don't have enough space or anything, and I do have an HDMI. I could set this up in the server room that could remote into multiple systems, too. Like I said, it's just a matter of USB connecting it, and so also the HDMI. Like I said... One connection to HDMI, but they do sell some receivers and, and, and transmitters that actually could capable of handling more HDMI. But this is where you're just reviewing this one today. Uh, able to control my desktop. I'm able to play PlayStation in another room. Uh, this is a great system to have if you're going to have conference, multiple conference rooms and you want to have multiple systems. Or if you want to share the same computer on both screens, you can do that. One could be one on the main screen, and then you could send the other one through the actual uh, um, sender to the receiver through the other room, and they could be um, mirror in together. So very simple. If you're going to set up a conference room, uh, not that very difficult. It's, once you set these up, this will automatically find its signal too. So you could power these through AC adapter, or if you have built-in power, you could actually um, easy to connect. So hope you guys enjoy the video. 99.6 of you are not subscribers in my channel. I hope that the content helps you out and that you find it very useful. And I hope you hit the like and subscribe.